Мы будем говорить о таком стиле боевого искусства, который называется Today we'll talk about a style of martial art called Kempo. The topic, of course, is very interesting and I learned a lot of new things for myself. And so, our guest is Mr. Yuri Kostrov and Mr. Andre Gherkin, whom I am pleased to introduce to you. However, the presentation will take me about a minute. Mr. Yuri is a Grandmaster, Professor in Soak, 10th Baser, Dan. The creator of the Slavic National Martial Art of Ukraine, Agni Kempo. Founder of the World Agni Kempo Organization. Lifetime member of the World So Council in Kobe, Japan. Lifetime member of the World Society of Heads and Founders of International Martial Arts Styles. Full member of the Korean Judo and Hapkido Association in Seoul, Republic of Korea. Full member of the International Council of Koshoru Kempo, Canada. 10th Dan Hanshi, Nibirakai Kempo, 10th Dan Kempo Jujutsu, 7th Dan Koshoru Kempo, etc. That is, this is not a raw regalia. Now, Mr. Andrew, instructor Agni Kempo, silver medalist of the World Ashihara Karate Championship in 2000, silver medalist of the European Shindikai Karate Championship in 2000, silver medalist of the Absolute Agni Kempo World Cup 2001 in the division of color belts, winner of the Agni Kempo Red Belt, Executive Director of the East European Headquarters of World Agni Kempo Organization. These are such famous people today in my studio. However, in order for our viewers to understand what Agni Kempo is, I suggest watching the plot that you kindly provided to our television company. I have nothing to do with martial arts, but I get a sense of pride when I see our fighters on the rostrum of the winners and hear the anthem of Ukraine. But let's begin the story of the creation of Agni Kempo. 
How did this story begin? I started creating Agni Kempo in 1984 and by 1987 this style was created. Since during these years all the martial arts, except Sambo and Judo, were banned in the USSR, we had to work underground. Hide under the guise of children's and youth sections in preparation for military service. I had such a section. She served as a science lab to create my style. In this laboratory we tested various techniques and combat situations, studied other styles of martial arts, selecting the best. And as a result by 1987, the foundation of Agni Kempo, as a new style of martial arts, was laid, although there were still two more years of the ban ahead of us. However, already in 1988, the first news appeared in the press. They wrote about us in the newspaper Soaps v Sport, in the Ukrainian newspaper Start and in the Japanese newspaper Yamiuri Shimbun. At that time, Perestroika had already begun in the USSR. And in 1989 all martial arts were allowed. After that, we have already begun to work openly and develop Agni Kempo. All branches that we now have abroad are registered under the name Agni Kempo. He talked about the philosophy of Agni Kempo. What is it? There is a teaching called Agni Yoga. We have adopted some aspects of this teaching and have laid the foundation for Agni Kempo's methods. No teaching should be discarded. It is necessary to consider and study everything, since everywhere you can find many useful things for spiritual and physical growth. For example, from Agni Yoga, we chose the theory of spiral, and it is the basis of all the methods of Agni Kampo, as impact techniques, such as throws techniques. The principle of the spiral is the basic principle of life. For example, this principle is embedded in human DNA. And the same principle is present in all of Agni Kempo's techniques. We even have a special Lestvitsa, a formal exercise in which everything is built on the principle of a spiral. In particular, we also took the name of the style from Agni Yoga. The word Agni from Sanskrit is translated not only as fire, but also as internal, psychic energy. In the world they know mainly about martial arts of the countries of the East. But given the fact that in Paris there is an institute of oriental languages in which Russian and Ukrainian are counted as oriental languages, then we have no problems with this. Therefore, we are sometimes called Oriental Martial Art, and often, Western Martial Art. This is correct, since Ukraine is on the line between the West and the East. For this reason, our mentality is somewhat Asian, and largely European. But how is Agni Kempo different from other martial arts? All karate styles are basically impact techniques. If we are talking about Jujutsu, and under this name many styles are implied, then this is mainly the technique of various throws. Our style, Agni Kempo, harmoniously combines both throws and impacts, as well as working with weapons, both with ancient oriental and modern edged weapons and firearms. Also, we study some types of ancient Slavic weapons. For example, a kisten. This is such a not big cargo, which is attached to the handle with a thin forged chain or horsehair strap. The technique of working with these weapons is similar to the Taoist bullet. Whoever practices wushu or kung fu understands what I'm talking about. This is mainly carpal work. This weapon was successfully used by the soldiers of ancient Russia in the 9th, 10th and 11th centuries. We have a phone call. Hello, speak. I'm mom of Julia Pavlenko. I am very happy for you and want to express my deep gratitude not only for your excellent coaching work, 
but also for your excellent work as teachers. The fact is that Agni Kempo is not just a style, but it is a system and a school of martial arts. This is a school for harmonious personality education. This is what we pay great attention to during training. We do not grow robots that just know how to wave arms and legs. Our task is to grow a personality. This is exactly what distinguishes martial arts from ordinary sports. Agni Kempo is a martial art. In sports, the spiritual basis is often neglected. This is due to the fact that in sport the task is simple, you need to defeat the enemy. In martial art, the main task is to defeat yourself. A man who can defeat himself becomes invincible in every sense. This is the main difference between martial art and conventional sport fight. Mr. Andra, please tell us what you have achieved over the years of training and teaching. I can say that our school in recent years has shown itself to be quite competitive in Europe and the world. In addition to the internal competitions of our style, the fighters of our school often have to take part in competitions against other styles. These styles are mainly such as Kyokushin Karate, Ashihara Karate, Vovine and Viet Vo Dao. And the fighters of our school became winners of such tournaments, including World and European Championships. We accept boys and girls in our clubs. In children's groups from 6 years old to 11 years old inclusively. In adult groups, we accept from the age of 12. We have another phone call. Hello, we are listening to you. This is a very interesting topic. I am already over 50, but I am a sports person. I have a question for you. Am I suitable for your classes and how can I sign up for your studies? Because I see people who literally attract me like magnets. Our style, Agni Campo, develops in six directions. Agni Campo, for those who once entered our way, want to go along it and improve themselves all their lives. But still, this way begins with the first step. Therefore, the first direction is the young fighter. This is from the age of six. The second direction, junior, from 12 years old. The third is the bridge, health system with elements of self-defense. It is for people of advanced age, from 60 years and as well as for young people, but with health problems. The fourth direction is professional. This is self-defense and survival in a real in a real battle on the street or on the battlefield for civilians of any age. The fifth is the Puma system for customs officers, border guards and police officers. The sixth direction is the BARS system for the special forces of the army, navy, security service and intelligence. By the way, by these methods we have already trained similar structures in Morocco and Bulgaria. Of course, the highest result is obtained by the one who chose Agni Kempo as the way of his life. Naturally, such people become instructors and trainers of Agni Kempo. Of course, it is best to start classes at an early age, but specifically Agni Kempo can be practiced at any age, as they say, from 6 to 86 years. Of course, we also have a sports direction. We are preparing to compete those who want to take part in them. But sports life is very short. This is approximately 5 to 7 years of regular competitions. When the sport ends for such a fighter, he again turns on the road of martial art and continues to improve on this path. By the way, we teach our students how to walk the streets in the evening. It is very important to have the correct posture and a confident gait. Someone is unlikely to attack a self-confident person, a properly trained person, even if he moves in a crowd. The crowd will part itself. We also teach this. 
We have another phone call. Hello, speak please. Good day. I want to ask where exactly is your training center in Kiev and can girls study? Here, just, you see the phone number by which you can contact us any day except Sunday. We will answer any questions and tell you where we are and how to get there. Call me. We are a non-profit organization and do not provide what is called a service. Anyone who joins us becomes a member of our organization, makes a monthly fixed membership fee. Now groups and clubs from other styles are joining our organization, such as Kyokusin Karate, Ashihara Karate, Kempo, Jujutsu and others, as well as similar clubs from other countries. Our followers from other countries register the clubs and federations of Agni Kempo. They send copies of registration documents to us. After that, they are considered full members and receive all the necessary information for their growth and development. People joining us understand why should they pay a lot of money to travel for example to Japan and get knowledge so far when the headquarters of Agni Kempo is very close in European Ukraine. And the knowledge gained from us is in many ways superior to the previously known martial arts. This is a purely dogmatic approach but it is correct. Yes, a master from Japan, who wants to develop our style in Japan, got in touch with him, but we won't think of it. Let's see how much he has a great desire and motivation. However, we have some problems in our development. In general, the state of sports in Ukraine is depressing. When coaches and high-class athletes leave Ukraine to reside in other countries, this is a disaster. This suggests that the country is not only an economic recession, but also a moral one. Sport is a litmus test of the state. If everything is good with sports, then everything is going well in the state. I will give an example. Our instructors registered the Agni Kampo Kiev Federation. Registration lasted one year, in Bulgaria. My students registered the Agni Kempo Bulgarian Federation in three days. In Canada, a commercial company is registered within 15 minutes. Unas everything has been going on for so long because officials are seated on the ground who look into our pockets and wait for a bribe. This is corruption. This is a misfortune of any state. But for ours it is especially. Our officials a month before the start of the World Cup took away from us a hall that they sold to others. In return, nothing was given to us and the 200 children who trained in R remained on the street. But we won the cup. Now we are fighting for us to be allocated a building for our center. Ukraine seeks Europe, while Ukrainian officials act like feudal lords. Until a Ukrainian official of any level, even the president or the prime minister, understands that he is simply a clerk who is obliged to serve his people, nothing good will happen in our country. Also, many structures existing since Soviet times are not suitable for today's Ukraine. They are out of date. For example, the state sports committee, or the so-called sports societies, such structures were needed and worked well only in a totalitarian society. But time has changed. In a free society, sport must develop through clubs and associations or federations. Only in this case, clubs will be able to attract interested sponsors and patrons, and federations and associations will be able to report for every penny spent, including from the country budget. When budgetary funds allocated to sports get centrally to the state sports committee, then these are very attractive funds for their theft. Therefore, all budgetary funds must come from the state directly to the federation or association of a sport. Only in this case the money will not be stolen, and each coach will understand why and for what he works.
как правило, клуб частный или он принадлежит общественной какой-то организации. Все рассказать, но я надеюсь, что нынешним тинейджерам. I want to wish today's youth all, as they say now, teenagers, especially health. This is the foundation without which any achievements are not possible. Secondly, I want to wish never to lose myself. That is, no matter what you do in life, no matter what heights you reach. You always have to remain people in any situation and always remember who you are and where you come from. Remember your roots. This is what I want to do to all young people. Thank you. It is very important that all our officials remember this too. Mr. Andre, what is your wish? I want to join Grandmaster Kostrov's wish and add on my own behalf that it is necessary to develop harmoniously and to measure computer seating with physical improvement. Unfortunately, this is often not the case. Practice Agni Kempo and everything will be fine with you. Many thanks from the bottom of my heart. What did you took part in our program? You are wonderful people, coaches and teachers. Thanks again. Goodbye, dear viewers.